direction of current in the coil. See, how would we know that the split ring actually flipped the direction of current in the coil? To determine that, look carefully in the first part. In the first part, the end AB of the coil was connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So current was going into AB and it was coming out of CD because CD was connected to the negative terminal. Now, after 180 degrees of rotation, AB is now connected to the negative terminal of the battery and CD is now connected to the positive terminal. Current will be coming out of the battery like this, traveling all the way from D to C this time, then from B to A, through the rings and the brushes, and then back. So you see that because of the help of this split ring, the direction of current actually flipped. It's CD, which is now experiencing a current inside. It's going inside the coil. And AB has a current which is coming out of the coil. Whereas before, AB was having a current which was going into the paper and CD was having a current which was coming out of the paper. Hence, the force will exactly be in the same direction. Because the magnetic field and the currents are the same. This will help your coil to rotate in the same direction. If there wouldn't have been any split rings, the currents in the coil will not have shifted. AB would still be receiving current in the upward direction that is into the paper and CD will still be having current coming out of the piece of paper. Split ring commutators actually flipped and the way they flipped was by reversing the connections of these ends with the battery. Initially, AB was connected to the positive terminal. Now AB is connected to the negative terminal. 